This is a really interesting idea, even though all of you know it doesn't work, because it happens literally every second when someone turns on their flashlight looking for something, or when a car is using its headlights, but they certainly aren't time traveling. Well, technically they are, because everyone is time traveling to the future, one second at a time, get it? Anyway, to put it briefly, this panel suggests that a person holding an active ball boy running can add motion to the speed of light, thus exceeding it and successfully time traveling. Quick explanation, theoretically, time travel is possible. When an object gets close to the speed of light, time will move slower to it, thus experiencing what is known as time dilation. If a person were to do that, he would age less than a stationary observer like a twin or even his son. That panel, however, is inaccurate because 1. Going back in time is kind of problematic due to issues like the grandfather paradox. 2. Nothing with mass can go beyond the speed of light since that would require infinite energy and 3. That is not how light works. The speed of light in vacuum is one of 26 universal constants and when I say in vacuum it's because light can actually go slower in medium such as water or glass. But right here let's just say nothing special is happening and that person is nowhere near the speed of light and is not affected by time dilation. Therefore, that whole logic is kaput. So if you're not Barry Allen or Clark Kent, and if your friend doesn't go by the name Emmett Brown, just forget about it.